Stratters, welcome, I'm Binky B, and this will be the first match with Polymorph. Uh, not in love with this hand, but it's pretty good, I mean, we're kinda likely to find a Polymorph, and all we need besides that is a land. We have some interaction. We already have a token. I'm not super stoked about taking another one. I think I'm gonna put both on the bottom. We could have bad luck and draw another land, I suppose. But I think... Is this like Infect? No. Oh, Infect, I mean Affinity. Yeah. Good start. Now I kind of wish I had ramp cards. Then we can overload, yeah, overload Cyclonic Rift. Hmm. Okay, I'm, still mine. I'm gonna play Hinterland Harbor and pass. I could Cyclonic Rift still over here, but I'd rather remand whatever he's gonna play. Cranial plating. Oh, that's nice. I like this. So it's a Master of Ethereum. Yeah, that's getting remanded. Get out of here. So now we can Cyclonic Rift still over here if we want to. But I'd rather Cyclonic Rift the master next turn if it comes to that another remand that's excellent so since that's the case it's not even certain he can replay it have another mox opal spell sky it uh, Yeah, I guess we remand Awakening Zone. The thing is that I can't really polymorph with that out, so I'm gonna have to wait regardless. But I don't want to peer into a polymorph and uh, show him what I'm going to do. So let's play Serum Missions. There is the polymorph, excellent. Uh, I guess we take mana leak. So now we're just gonna pass. And Emrakul will be enough here. And I'm taking uh, mana leak since. since after. Uh, after Emrakul leads the board I could potentially die to like an Alpha Strike and a Burn Spell or something, but Mana Leak should help with that. So I could try to like Cyclonic Rift, something other than Spell Skite, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna go to... 14. Hopefully he does not have uh, uh, Galvanic Blast. He could. Maybe I want to play around that actually. I can't really do that though, can I? I can play around it if I mana leak the spell skite and peer into another counter spell and then draw a land naturally. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play 
Awakening Zone and Pass. And Mana Leak the Spell Skite. And then untap, play Peer Through Depths, and then Polymorph. I, th I, I don't think it's. Oh. <sighs> if he gets to equip that. Yeah, I don't like that. Or do I? He equips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. I untap, put Emrakul in. And have Manalik up. He can't really attack. He attacks with two. Yeah, I guess we have to let that resolve. Okay. I like this. Is it the master? Doesn't really make any sense, but do I mana like this? Yes, I do. So he has two, four, five, six, seven permanents. That should be fine. Yeah, I like that he's still pumping. He would get a lot more damage in if he is attacked. Alright. I would like to put that in, yes. Yeah, no point in doing that. Emrakul, the Aeon's Torn. As long as he can't produce double black, it should be fine. <coughs> it's gonna be hard for him to animate this though, and produce double black, and equip, animate, equip, black. So he needs land, spring leaf drum, or a glimmer void, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, so this will be eight power, and this will be okay. Great. Elishnor is pretty good. Python needle is not horrible. Iona is crap. Terrestrial is crap. Mortopod is also an option, I think. And that's it. What to bring out? Spell Snow on the draw is probably pretty good. Spell Pierce, I don't love. I guess I'd rather have Python Needle. We could cut something else. The man leaks are not super good, I suppose. Bring in some mortar pods and I guess that's it. The counter magic is decent, but they're not gonna have that much. They're gonna have like Thought Seizes, Skalvanic Blasts, Spell Pierce, maybe. Mulligan, yuck. Still think it's keepable though. No. We got some filtering, we got tokens and ramp. Can't really complain too much. Vault Scourge. Grove Spasm, not horrible. Uh, you can go on the bottom, you can go on the top. Alright, so. 
<coughs> gonna play Mortapod. Then we will see what we will do with it. Signal pest. Unless this is a Thoughtseize, but it doesn't look like it. If it's a Steel Overseer, I will kill it for sure. If it's like a Thought Cost, sure. Then I think I'll just play Mortapod and don't use it. And then the turn after that, play uh, Grove Spasm and then be in good shape. I hope. Too bad we can't get Elish Norn this time around, but Emrakul is still pretty good. I guess I could have killed Signal Pest uh, to turn off Mox Opal. Is this a master? Or Ravager? Master? Blood Moon? Uh, sure. <laughs> that doesn't really... That that hurts you a lot more than it hurts me, okay? Another Volt Scourge? <sighs> then I think I will just bomb Signal Pest. I don't have to do that, but... It's one damage this turn, it's two damage next turn. It's just annoying. Jeez, Blood Moon. <laughs> so there is the Sea Beyond that I was kind of hoping for, but... I'm gonna grab Island since I need it. I could also go like equip Mortapod, shoot down Vault Scourge, but... We'll see. Edge Champion. Good card, good card. I'm not under severe pressure, I might actually do that. It's a lot safer. Because now I can go uh, see beyond and then polymorph and have a 33% chance of getting Elish Norn instead. Let's see what you got here. Yeah, it's still fine. And I can actually block his Edge Champion. I don't even need Emrakuls and stuff. I'm gonna block here. Uh, and shoot down one of you. That Blood Moon man, it's really good. Play more of these. <laughs> as fun as I'm having, I think I should probably go for it here. Always yes, please. Uh, no I can't. I guess I should. Uh, yeah, I should actually have C beyond it first. Let's equip, let's play C beyond. Pass. I think we're in excellent shape. That's a bit worse. Ah, it's still fine doesn't change anything actually just makes me able to jump block a bit more and decides which one of the Volt Scourge I'm gonna shoot down 
So I'm gonna take one damage again since you can't move it. If you only had an arc bound ravager or something. Protus staff. I guess that's slightly better. Let's see what we get. Emrakul. Ah well. He will have to do. Or it. Or she, or whatever it is. <sighs> there we go. I could equip Mortopal next turn if I need to. Ornithopter, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Probably not good enough though. That's my guess. Gonna attack. Hmm. This is a very sketchy attack. I'm gonna take it. Another Proteus staff. Alright, let's annihilate. Boom. No, no, you can sack Blood Moon. That's not good for me. The thing is, I could have uh, used Staff first to try to hit Elishnorn. That would just have ended the game. But if I do that uh, and I hit another Emrakul, that's just not good. Now I can get my, give my Emrakul Vigilance. Alright. Should probably have kept Glimmer Void. So you can re-equip at instant speed. Uh, I guess we do it on Emrakul. See what we hit? Ugh. Then I'm gonna equip. What did we hit? Another Emrakul. Three mana, give Emrakul vigilance. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Equip Monopod. Pass. GG. All right. We didn't even need Elish Norn. We hardly even needed Emrakul. Thanks for watching. I'll bring you one more match at least. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize-supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at Patreon.com slash MagicGatheringStrat.